And I think as social media kind of goes through all different organizations and businesses, I think it's going to be harder and harder for uh, there to be a, a rift between layers of the company. The company needs to all be facing the same direction and doing also what it's saying. I mean, and I think it's going to be harder for companies to do uh, that kind of thing. I mean, that would not happen. And I think, I think you're right to some extent. I mean, in many ways, it's a natural... It, it's, it is an inevitability, and in 2000, by the time of 2025, 80% of the workforce will be millennials. I would also say it's dependent on the economy and the needs that people have for jobs and to have a salary. And people know if you leave a company and go on Twitter and go crazy about it, and I've had this happen to me, other people will not hire them. I think it's not realistic to think that, um, that companies are that scared of that. And, and also now I think that the more people are on social media saying that stuff, the less relevant it becomes. Well, the first few people do it, it's really interesting. And then it becomes well, I don't mean the having a print. I just mean that in this world of transparency where everyone is connected, there is very little, there is very little uh, opaqueness about organizations. But uh, remember that uh, in, in traditional organizations in the 20th century before the web, um, a lot of jobs uh, a lot of people had jobs uh, just because they had more information than other people. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. So yeah. you had yeah. you had all the, the hierarchy was almost made of uh, you know uh, proportional to the amount of information that you could have uh, inside the organization. This is changing dramatically, of course, uh, and and that's the first point. And, and I would agree that internally also we've become a lot more transparent. Mm -hmm sharing a lot more, almost it's inevitable, okay? So the hierarchy is flattening. The second thing is, we, we just uh, published a research on, on millennials, and millennials apparently want their boss to be a friend. Uh, I on don't Facebook, know whether... Real life. <laughs> well, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's, it's, it's not the, the same thing. Real it's life. not the same thing. But uh, uh, <laughs> what I think, but what I'm asking is the management to do is to change and to become a coach more than a, a boss that give orders or instructions and and that is also very important uh, for the good um, um, I would say but how do you separate that I mean that's very challenging if you're friends with uh, everyone that you work with it's, it's um, no you, you shouldn't can't be friends with everybody you, you can't be because... friends with everybody my point is but you, you can change the, your style it's of management a, a and become more it's of a, a coach yeah, than, a, than a, a boss yeah, that you give orders.